Welcome to CLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic nitrogen and its compounds and today we are going to be looking at the different ways to test the presence of nitrates and also what are some of the effects of pollution on nitrogen and its compounds. So first test for nitrate or nitric acid, we have the oxidation of iron 2 sulfate. I want you to remember this reaction because we are going to use it for the next uh, way to test. So concentrated nitric acid oxidizes iron 2 sulfate to iron 3 sulfate. So it changes it from green to brown. So however, the solution tax stands dark brown due to the formation of a complex because of the nitrogen uh, 2 oxide that is produced. If nitrogen 2 oxide reacts with the iron 2 sulfate, it forms a complex. This is the complex that is brown, and this is the one that we are going to see is formed on the brown ring test. So the nitrogen 2 is produced by the reduction of the nitrate to nitrogen monoxide, that is uh, by the iron 2 ions. So when you look at the reaction, before we come to the bonding test, so the iron 2 ions changes to iron 3 ions, and then the nitrate ions are oxidized to nitrogen 4 oxide and water. So when you look at now the browning test, it's, it's sort of now built up from what you are looking at the oxidation, the oxidation property. So what happens first of all, the unknown solid is dissolved, then the acidified, then acidified using dilute sulfuric acid. Some of the iron sulfate, uh, iron 2 sulfate solution is added. So we have the unknown solution, iron 2 sulfate and some acid. And then the test tube is held at an angle, as you can see from the image. Um, next. Uh, it's held at an angle and concentrated sulfuric acid is added dropwise to the mixture. And as it's being added, it is going to form a, a brown ring. And also the concentrated sulfuric acid, because it's denser than water, will sink at the bottom. So there's a brown ring that is, that is formed around the test tube, and this is what we call the brown ring test. The moment you see that, it tells you that whatever unknown solid you had is containing nitrate ions, or basically it's a nitrate. So if the solution tested, for example, in this case was potassium nitrate. So this is just explaining now the chemical, the chemistry behind the brown ring test. So if a solution was potassium nitrate, the concentrated sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate reacts to form nitric acid. So you can see that reaction, potassium nitrate, which is our, is our test solution, reacts with sulfuric acid to form potassium, hydrogen sulfate, and nitric acid. And then the nitrate ions in the nitric acid oxidizes the iron 2 sulfate. Remember, we are adding iron 2 sulfate after that to form iron 3 sulfate. And then itself is reduced to iron 2 by the iron 2 ions. So the iron 2 ion forms react with some more iron sulfate to give a brown compound. This is the complex we talked about, and it is usually brown in color. So that is the ring that forms on the test tube or the boiling tube. It is the combination of the nitrate, nitrogen 2 oxide and iron 2 sulfate, which causes that formation. So the iron 2 sulfate reacts with nitrogen 2 to form the complex iron 2 sulfate nitrogen 2 complex. And if you were to look at the ionic equation, you can see the iron 2 ions are usually oxidized to iron 3 ions and the nitrogen 2 oxide reacts with iron sulfate to form now the, co the complex which is brown. Another way of being able to check that the metal or the solid you're being given is nitrate is by heating. So if you heat the nitrate, they will decompose easily, especially the ones that are below 
the most reactive ones for example copper or magnesium if you hit copper nitrate you are going to form copper oxide nitrogen oxide and oxygen so the brown films will show that whatever solid that you are hitting is nitrate this this was used once in when we were discussing salt and we had a question where uh, one of the compounds was decomposed to give a brown fumes i know we had not discussed these brown fumes in form 2 but now you are able to relate that now those brown fumes are nitrogen oxide that tells you the compound that you are hitting is a nitrate Nitrates of more reactive metal need much stronger heating and to decompose and decomposes in a different way as you have seen like potassium and nit uh, sodium nitrate usually decompose partially to form sodium nitrite and potassium nitrate nitrite and oxygen next we look at the pollution effects of the nitrogen compound First of all, nitrogen compounds uh, affect caustic acid rain. Why? Because nitrogen oxide is usually produced by internal combustion of engine uh, on combination of nitrogen and oxygen. So the nitrogen 2 is oxidized to nitrogen 4 oxide, which usually dissolves in water to form nitric 3 acid and nitric 5 acid. So nitric 5 acid is nitric 3 acid is oxidized in air because remember these gases are being exposed into the air to form nitric 5 acid which eventually goes to the ground as rain as acid rain so this causes loss of chlorophyll for the leaves it causes corrosion of stone buildings and metallic structures and it weakens them uh, hence destroying their beauty it causes leaching of vital mineral salts, uh, these are which are converted to soluble nitrates and washed away from top soil, which leads to crop yields, to few crop yields. Another thing is the formation of smog. So nitrogen four oxide also undergoes some reaction in air to produce uh, smog. Smog usually reduces visibility for motorists. It irritates the high and causes a uh, breathing problem. Another effect is eutro eutrophication. Eutrophication is where um, when uh, water it has excess neutral nutrients, it causes algal growth and presence of the nitrate ions from nitrogenous fertilizer in water mass encourages the rapid growth of, of algae so this eventually leads to the destruct reduction of the dissolved oxygen in water killing aquatic animals like fish because now that the oxygen is not able to dissolve in the water as it did before the presence of the nitrate ions in drinking water may also call health 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 to human this is because they are converted into carcinogenic compounds so this is an example of eutrophication where the algal which is green in color as you can see as overgrown and this is where now the problem comes in when it comes to the animals living in the water so what are some of the ways we can be able to prevent some of these effects from happening is recycling and reacted gases in the manufacture of nitric acid to prevent them being released into the atmosphere so instead of just letting them go you can reuse them and then also treating sewage and industrial affluents to remove nitrogen compounds before releasing them to the rivers also fit exhaust system with catalytic converter especially for these large scale processes they need catalytic convert converters that can convert the nitrogen oxide into harmless nitrogen and then also adding lime to lakes and soils in the surrounding regions to reduce acidity this acidity is what causes these plants to grow then applying fertilizer at right in the correct proportion to prevent it from being washed away instead of putting excess let's do one question so our question will be nitrogen 
One, two oxide is one of the gases released from the internal combustion engine. Said how this gases, this gas affect the environment. So, so first of all, nitrogen two oxide is oxidized to nitrogen four oxide in air. Nitrogen four oxide reacts with with water or moisture with water. in the air to form a nitric acid which falls as acid rain which has varied effect to the environment like it encourages growth of water acids acids And you know the water hyacinths uh, prevent like the animals in the water from breathing oxygen or it prevents the, the dissolving of oxygen in the water. So it also causes a uh, formation of smog. It causes uh, the um, when it comes to loss of chlorophyll for plants, this acid rain. So you can go ahead and mention the effects we have just talked about. But remember the nitrogen um, 2 oxide is oxidized to nitrogen 4 and then the acid is formed from the reaction of nitrogen 4 with the moisture in the atmosphere. So that brings us to the end of nitrogen and its compounds. So we have a small part which we are going to do on qualitative analysis later on, which forms also part of the practical sessions that we are going to be having. So see you in the next lesson.